In my last video, I talked about why I need a fresh start with The Sims 4 and to properly have this new beginning, I must reset my mods folder. So this means deleting every single piece of custom content that I currently have in my game. That does include my default eyes, my default skins, my Kaz background, and that leads me on to also deleting all of my mods as well. So I'm literally deleting every single content that is currently in my mods folder so I can properly refresh. Hello there, my name is Plumby and today I am going to be doing a video where we are going to be doing some custom content shopping together. I am so excited for this video because I have not gone custom content shopping in I think four, nearly five months. So it's been a very, very long time and I'm really looking forward to downloading new default skins, new default eyes, a new Kaz background. Obviously I am going to be re-downloading some old mods that I had like um, the UI cheats extension because that is an essential and I, you know, I need it back. But regarding the custom content, I should not be re-downloading any of the custom content I originally have. So this means that I'll be able to download all the new custom content and I'm just so excited for today's video. So I urge you to come along and join me. So grab yourself a lovely mug of hot chocolate or tea or coffee, whichever you prefer. Grab yourself a blanket and let's get cozy and let's find some new custom content. I'm very excited for this. So yeah, let's hop into it. So first I wanna get the essential things out of the way. So this will be my default. As you guys can out. I'm currently on my CC resources. This will stay relatively the same, but obviously I am going to switch some stuff out. I will update this for the time this video posts. So when you go to my CC resources, I'll have all my new CC resources. I will update it as soon as possible. Now, originally I was using this default skin and I actually do really love this default skin. So I'm actually going to be re-downloading this. I know I said I'd get new defaults, but um, I love this skin and I've been using it for years and I prefer my sims with it and I want to keep creating my sims with it So I am gonna go ahead and re-download this default skin right here. This is my absolute favorite Also all the custom content that I will be downloading today aside from the mods and the old custom content Which I already had so for example if I keep my default skin I'm not gonna reblog it again, but any new custom content I download will be reblogged on my tab Tumblr, my CC Finds Tumblr, which is of course always linked in the description box down below. I'm very, very tempted to grab some new default eyes. I've been using the pearl eyes for so long and I always go back to these. I just, I really love these eyes. I love how cartoony they are and I was so tempted to keep them in my game, but I feel like I need to get some new eyes and I think one of you guys in the Discord like months ago posted these eyes, um, which are by Sammy XOX and I thought they looked really cool. They're a little bit more realistic. Um, they are a blend of Sims 3 Melancholics 101 eyes and Squeeze Beetle eyes, which I actually used to have. So I don't know, I feel like I want to give these a try. I could always remove them and replace them with some other ones. But I think, you know, getting some new default eyes would be a good idea. So I've never actually done a CC shopping video before. So I'm really excited to take you guys uh, through my routine. So what I do is I always go to the people that I'm following on Tumblr. Now I will warn you, I am following some Sims 3 people because I do also play the Sims 3. <laughs> so I have to kind of sieve through um, and find which one's which. But if you want to like follow my CC shopping routine. Basically, I just go to my my list of people I'm following and I just go through each of their pages. So I think I'm gonna do that today. So I'm gonna go ahead and first of all, check out Pixel Universe because Pixel Universe is one of my all time favorite CC creators. I love the cartoonishness of their CC and how max it's matched their custom content is. I'm also gonna be a bit picky uh, with my custom content because I've made videos uh, before kind of discussing why I prefer playing The Sims 4 with uh, minimalist custom content. If you want to check out that video actually I'll have a link for it in the description box but I do enjoy playing The Sims 4 with minimal CC so I am quite picky when it comes to the custom content I do bring into my game. If you have any favorite custom content creators do let me know them in the comment section down below it'll be really helpful to me but obviously to others as well because I feel like that way we'll be able to download a lot more custom content more so discover lots of new custom content creators because I like literally just said <laughs> I don't like downloading a ton but yeah so I think that's a good way for us to you know find some new CC creators because I am always on the lookout for new CC creators I especially love like really really cartoonish really max's matchy custom content so if you have any CC creators for that 
that do let me know all right we're downloading some hairs what's your favorite kind of i suppose cc type to download my personal favorite is 100 percent hairstyles but i don't know i feel like now i think about it though i feel like i'm getting more excited with clothing items for my sims because i feel like we we have quite a bit of hairs in the game now whereas i feel like the clothes in the sims is lacking a little bit i mean it's not lacking because there is just so much of it now but at the same time i really like love my my new sims for hairs like i get so excited whenever i get new ones so yeah let me know though what is your favorite kind of cc to get so like for example i love like marso sims's hairs and their sims because they're just so cartoony and so adorable and i just love their sim creator sim style and their i suppose their taste in custom content as well i love renora sims's custom content so much i have been downloading their custom content for i think since 27 so quite a long time and I just I feel like the custom content is so beautiful and like lots of it is very floral and kind of bohemian and nature themed and I just absolutely adore that kind of custom content because I suppose it's quite similar to my own style so I kind of just adore custom content like that so we're gonna kind of go through here and download a lot of this I kind of want all of this because it's also it fits so well with the game too I think we're gonna get it all okay maybe I won't get Maybe I'll just get the skirt instead of getting the short version. There we go. Oh, it's a... Okay, so it's a set. Okay, this this will help me. Oh, this will help me so much. <laughs> I just opened all these tabs and it was all part of the same set. Do you guys do that at all? Because I just open it in tabs to reblog it. And then I'm like, oh, okay. It's all part of the same set. Well, it makes it easier for downloading. But, you know, feel a bit silly. I also won't be linking any of the custom content I do get today. As I did say in the beginning, it will be reblogged on my CC Finds Tumblr. But I'm not planning on doing custom content hauls anymore. Mainly because they do take a really long time. And I do, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I do find them quite boring to create. So for that exact reason i will not be posting cc hauls anymore because i'm planning on downloading quite a bit today i honestly do not have the time to link it all like i said you can find it by going to my cc finds but i just won't be linking it down below or in the comments as i've been doing for a really really long time just because i just it does take a very long time and i'd rather put that energy into like actually creating videos rather than just linking and linking and linking things i do want to do like custom content videos but just not custom content hauls if you get my drift with that so yeah because i know someone's gonna be like saying oh are you linking the stuff and i thought i would let you know that no i'm not gonna be linking the stuff today one of my favorite things about CC shopping and something that I've like appreciated about CC shopping, especially recently, is how good it is for like kind of getting over kind of shopping urges. So what I mean by this is that I think it's very, very easy to kind of like in today's day and age with, you know, adverts everywhere it's very easy to want to you know always be shopping and actually buying things and I feel like the good thing with CC shopping is that if you do get that urge you can just go and CC shop for your sims instead which of course unless you support creators on Patreon is completely free which I think is amazing and I think it's like a great way to kind of get over those urges, not get over them, but kind of find a healthier way to direct those urges. Because I'm doing a low buy year this year to try and save some money. If I do get an urge to buy something, I kind of thought, hey, why don't I just go do some CC shopping? I would say, you know, I'm only starting CC shopping now, but it kind of feeds that, I suppose, that, that dopamine for you. So then you don't actually have to buy something. So I would say CC shopping is incredible for that. I think that's one of the a really good perks about custom content shopping. So I think I've like talked, I've talked about this before. I'm pretty sure with you guys, maybe on a stream or something, because I used to stream my CC shops and I'm pretty sure lots of people also are kind of of this opinion that CC shopping is great for kind of not actually buying stuff and you can, <laughs> you can save a lot of money because it's way better obviously than going and buying actual clothing from an actual store and it's still fun that's the thing like it's it's still just as equally rewarding it's just you know not super duper expensive and obviously like free as i did say so i do I really appreciate you know cc for that and you know tumblr for that because i think tumblr makes cc shopping at least for me a really really fun experience like i absolutely adore cc shopping on tumblr like that's where i cc shop like all the time now i don't use sims resource anymore i literally only use tumblr for my cc because i just 
I just think it's perfect for CC shopping. Um, and I love everyone's different pages and they're like Tumblr themes. I love how everything's laid out. Some, I know some uh, people make their like Tumblr look like an actual online shop, which I think is so creative and just so clever. And I love when CC creators do that. So it just makes for a really fun experience overall. You may notice that I'm actually skipping over like toddler custom content and male custom content and that is because I want to dedicate a separate CC shop to that. This is how I've always done it. For some reason like they're just separate in my head. So I will, you know, download some male custom content and some toddler and children custom content but I'll save that for another time. I don't know why I've done it like this. I think it's just easy to like organize in my head and organize in my mods folder and I think I don't download as much custom content either by doing that. It's a bit odd. I know I should just download it all at once but in my head it just makes sense to do it separately. It's gonna be very strange though I think opening my mods folder and like the makeup especially being gone um I think because I think I'm used to seeing you know new outfits, new clothing, new hair because I do like periodically delete my custom content hair and clothing. Makeup and you know skin details not so much so I think when I open my game I'm gonna have a bit of a heart attack because I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna be like where the hell is everything? How am I meant to create a sim like this? You know how am I meant to what am, what am I meant to do? And I think I'm gonna have a, a little bit of a heart attack. <laughs> I'll try my best to like compose myself. No I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm being dramatic but I, I am like really worried to open it because I'm like oh no there's gonna be nothing there which is true and I'm gonna be like where is that freckles? Like where are the freckles I always use? Where are they gone? Because I kind of like automatically go for certain types of like CC like especially when it comes to makeup and, and freckles like I have my go-to and I may actually have to go ahead and re-download them <laughs> because my sims game won't feel like my sims game without them because I've been using like some like eyeliners and like freckles for I think like three years maybe even more than three years so yeah I, I've kind of gotten used to using them which is maybe the reason as to why I should get new custom content to kind of begin a new but it's gonna be very very odd to notice that all that custom content is gone but um of course i will survive downloading all this custom content is making me very very excited to start my new let's play my new kind of family legacy i don't i think i'm gonna call it a legacy but i i don't when i say legacy it doesn't mean that i'm actually gonna do like 10 generations because i don't want to promise anything in case i can't you know do 10 generations for whatever reason but i try to do as much as i can that's kind of what i say for each of my legacies i'm gonna try to do as much as i can but be on a little bit of a tangent but I'm, this is making me very excited for my legacies my new like family legacy because seeing all this custom content is like giving me ideas for how I want to dress the founder and it's just making me so excited. I will be creating her with you guys like I do want to do the creator sim of her together. I think that will just make it a lot more fun and you know and I, and I want this I really want to focus for this series is that I really really want to focus on it being like our legacy because Honey Brew was kind of like that but I think it was more so kind of I more so kind of focused on it being more of like something that I kind of do and I just share it with you guys and obviously you guys did also have a massive part in Honey Brew but I want this to be very 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 much that's my kind of hope because I really want you guys to be a big part of it so I really want to like decide things with the story with you guys so it'll be a lot less planned than Honey Brew because I planned a lot with Honey Brew and I still want to do like little plans because I think it's fun to like surprise you guys and stuff with the storylines but I think I want to make it so like we kind of figure stuff out as we go so then you guys can comment you guys can like recommend things and then we can like make decisions together I really want to make a hashtag on the gallery because I want your sims to be part of it like this is like my I had this thought I was like I really want to make sure that all this not maybe not all the sims but the majority of the sims that you know our founder is friends with you know her love interests etc I want them all to be your sims because you guys are so talented at making sims and that'll be like a really 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 big way of making sure that you know your sims are part of the let's play because by kind of making it so you guys can create sims and those sims can get added into my game that'll mean that you know you can you can kind of change the genetics i suppose of the you know the future kids if, if the sim has like a kid with one of your sims and that i think that really adds to the cooperativeness of how how i want the the let's play to be so i'm really looking forward to that and i'm looking forward to seeing all your sims also can i just say how how like 
in all I am of Twisted Cat's custom content, like especially their eyelashes and their eyebrows. I've been following them for I think a year and a half now, I think since they started, you know, posting custom content and their custom content just keeps getting better and better. Like I always get excited to open their page. They've become one of my new favorite CC creators. I actually do wanna do a video on my favorite CC creators quite soon because I wanna share with you guys my favorite people Um, because I think CC creators are honestly so freaking talented and I think the more people who know about them, the better. As well, I do wanna do like my all time favorites um, video. I'm, I was gonna do it because I'm downloading like new defaults and stuff, but I'm not sure if I will because lots of my like favorites have stayed the same because I'm just re-downloading them. But I'll, I'll see, I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do because I do want to like post some new favorites as part of this new chapter. Another thing I want to do at some point as well is I want to do a CC shop video but i want it to be for a specific sim so when we do start the legacy i want to like dedicate a whole like video whole cc shop to just this one sim we can imagine like we're shopping for clothes with them i've had this idea for a couple months now i'm pretty certain one of you guys suggested it actually and honestly it really made me feel so inspired to like create a video like that so i do want to do that eventually that's definitely something which is on my radar when it comes to you know videos i want to get out at some point speaking of video like ideas if you guys have any videos you'd like me to post uh, any video ideas for this new chapter do let me know in the comment section down below because i am open to all sorts of ideas right now i've got tons of ideas already but as i did say i'm so open to more ideas a lot of my video ideas have been recommended by you guys and have ended up love loving making them i do want to say that if you do recommend a video it probably won't get made for like a month or two because i do have a whole backlog of videos i need to get out and because i'm only going to be posting weekly it's going to take a while to get them out but i promise you that it is on a list and i you know if i'm ever like looking at the list and i'm like okay what do i have time for creating today and i'm like oh this video i have time for creating i'll then make the video so if you do recommend videos it may take a while for them to eventually get made but they do go on the list like every single video suggestion well not every single like obviously I could, some of them i have to be like sorry i can't make that video but the vast majority like 90 nine percent end up going on the the video list and i end up making them at some point so yeah always feel free to give a video idea like never feel shy about recommending videos because as i did say i'm always on the lookout for new video ideas oh i love jelly moo's custom content so much i love how like cartoony their custom content is it reminds me a lot of the sims 2 actually i don't know why but like the overall kind of uh feel of the their custom content reminds me of like sims 2 i don't know why because uh, it doesn't necessarily like look very sims 2 ish but it just reminds me of the sims the sims 2 so uh yeah i think it has that like very cartoony kind of feel to it there's another word i'm trying to think of but i, I can't think of the word also where's reblog here we go <laughs> am i the only one who really struggles to find the reblog button a lot of the time on tumblr because like usually it's up in the right the right the high right corner the top right corner there we go <laughs> but sometimes it's like hidden and i'm like always like looking out for it it's like easter egg hunting you know what i mean <laughs> trying to find what the reblog button is i have reblogged all of this and i'm gonna quickly reload my cc finds and i think that is gonna be it for me going through my downloads list but i do want to visit some other people's custom content finds so one of my favorites is ocean sims's cc finds there we go found that one quite quick quite surprised it takes me a little while to find other people's custom content finds but we have ocean sims and cc finds so we're just going to go ahead and look around and see if there's anything here that maybe i missed or maybe new people that i can follow ocean sims has such a great taste in custom content and i feel like all the custom content that she does like reblog and stuff is like a nice kind of eclectic mix because you've got some stuff which is more alpha some stuff which is more like max's mix some stuff which is max's match so i feel like there's tons of just really really good custom content on here oh my gosh i need that scarf how did i miss this when i was i was looking at serenity cc's page and i missed that scarf that scarf is so wonderful i'm always on the lookout for um new custom content scars because there's quite a few like really alpha ones but there aren't as many like max and match ones and let me tell you if you're trying to make your sims like outfits their winter outfits their cold weather outfits look more detailed more cozy and just overall more like realistic for like cold weather get yourself a scarf because they add so much like detail like sometimes i'm like oh my sims like cold weather is boring i wish i could add something and i just add a scarf and it like it really makes it so much better so i do really recommend scarves for your sims cold weather wear a style tip there <laughs> 
I should not be giving style tips. I am like the last person you should probably listen to when it does come to style and fashion. But you know, at least in The Sims, maybe I can get away with it a little bit more. All right, I think I'm gonna visit one more CC Finds. We're gonna visit Max's Match CC World, my absolute, you know, go to CC Finds page. I've been using them for a couple of years now, and yeah, they've got everything categorized, which is so handy. I feel like I'm quite happy with hair. I don't think I need any more hair. So instead, let's look at wardrobe. Let's see some clothes. Uh, we're just gonna go female today because as I said <laughs> earlier, <laughs> for some reason I have to like get the children and toddler stuff separate and the male stuff separate to the female custom content. I had this before, this outfit before, so I really shouldn't download it again, but um, I didn't get to use it enough and I just love it. It's like so cute and like whimsical and stuff and I, I just so summery, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna grab that again. That's like the only outfit I think I've gotten that my, my sim had before, I think. Okay, so I think I'm gonna call it a day regarding like custom content from my following list. And I think that's all the custom content we're gonna get for today. But now let's go ahead and move on to some mods. Now I don't wanna get a lot of mods because I haven't played the game for a while. So I'm not, I don't really need any new gameplay add-ons, but there are some mods that are like my must haves, my essentials, mods that I've had before. And there are a couple new ones as well that I really wanna download that were recommended by you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. But before we get some mods, I wanna get some more like default things like backgrounds. So I've been using this Kaz background here by Cloudcat for quite a while because it's got like seasonals. So you've got like green spring, cherry blossom, red maple, which I think is so beautiful. And I've been using the, the cherry blossom one at the moment and it's so beautiful, but I do want to begin anew with my Kaz background too. I may come back to it one day though, because I do love it. But um, for now, I do want to get a new one. And as I was CC shopping, I went over to Breezy Traits page and I, and I noticed some of her Kaz backgrounds and I thought that it would be a good idea to maybe download one of these because these are, I know they're very like laid back. There's no mirror in them, but I kind of like that. So it's just kind of picking the right color. And so let's like look through here. So we've got springtime and airy and I was kind of, you know, drawn to the blue, but I think I'm gonna save that for summer, but I kind of think that it's spring right now. Going to the springtime palette would be a good idea. Now I'm very picky when it comes to colored like just colored backgrounds for my sims for cas i don't know why but some of them just like bother my eyes it's very strange like, i go through a lot but i feel like i feel like poppy could be a good one because you know it's kind of got that beigey kind of purpley pink kind of color it's not too bright it's kind of faded i think it'll look quite lovely with my reshade because i also have to consider my reshade as well loading screen i think I haven't had a loading screen for a while. I think I may have removed my loading screen. For a while I was using these Hanford on Bagley ones, but I kind of want to get a new loading screen in my game. Let's just go onto Google or Ecosia for this one because I do want to go ahead and find a new loading screen. Also this video is <laughs> sponsored um, by Ecosia. But I do recommend their web browser. It's very efficient, it plants trees, do check it out. Um, yeah, anyway, not sponsored though. <laughs> All right, so let's just search spring loading screen. Let's see what we have. So there's just one up here, which is a spring loading screen pack. So let's just click on this one and see what they have. I don't know if I want like a real image, but it's a beautiful image, but I think I'd rather it be, you know, in game. Snooty Sims have some loading screens. Let's just see, any of these aren't specifically like spring. Let's see if there's any here. I'm very picky with my loading screens as well. That one's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> with the cats. None of these, some of these are really beautiful, but none of them are, are really catching my eye. <gasps> wow, oh, this one's really cool. Sims World Map Loading Screen. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, I think if this one's still available for download, I think we, uh, we're gonna have to get this one. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, okay. Okay, there's a couple versions, more like the original map's color, and then version two is my personal preference. So I suppose they've yeah, they've kind of no, yeah, they've kind of changed the 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 design around a bit. I kind of want to use the original map's color just because to kind of fit more in with the game. Um, so we're gonna go original, and I believe that is everything here. So now I need to find my mods, MC Command Center, and. UI cheats is missing and I also want to get another one too. So we're going to get MC Command Center first. An absolute essential. If you play The Sims 4 on PC and you can you can get mods, please get MC Command Center. It is such an incredible mod and it adds so much to the game. It makes the game way more easier to play. So yeah, I recommend UI cheats. 
another absolute must. This just makes everything so much more easy. And as I said, it just makes The Sims 4 into a much more enjoyable experience. And lastly, this is one which you guys recommended to me so much after I posted my last video. And that was the remove icon Sims 4. It was something along the lines of that. You know the really, here we go. Um, remove the purchase slash cart button for The Sims 4. I know loads of creators have made this and I thank them as Melamore said, a hero. That is so true. They really are a hero <laughs> for creating this. So we are gonna immediately download that and that's gonna be a new must have in my game. So I'm now gonna go ahead, download all of this, get it into my game, and then we can go ahead and check out all the new stuff that we found today. It won't be like a CC haul. I won't go through every single piece, but we'll just have a quick look through and we'll pick out our favorite things. This is by far always the best part. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it and I'll see you guys in just a moment. So I've downloaded all the custom content and I've plopped it all in my game, which took a very long time because I had to reorganize my mods folder because obviously I deleted everything, but I'm now back in. As you guys can tell, immediately we have the Kaz background, which is very, very beautiful, but I'm not sure if I want to get back that spring Kaz background by Cloudcat I showed you guys earlier because I'm really, really missing the mirror. I just think I love having the mirror as part of my Kaz. It just makes it way more fun and easier as well to like see what the hairstyle looks from the back. So as lovely as this Kaz background is, I think I'm going to grab my <laughs> original one back, my spring blossom one. But this one's still very, very lovely. But let's go ahead and look at the CC. And another thing as well, I also got some default, different default eyes. As you guys know, I was going to get the eyes by Sammy XOX, but then I noticed that I accidentally reblogged some default eyes by Marso Sims, and I thought it was a hairstyle, but it was actually eyes, and I actually really loved those eyes. So I ended up downloading them. So this is what they look like. I'm really, really happy with them. Them, but I will say you guys for the EA swatches do you know how I can remove the like EA shine I'm pretty sure I had a mod for this before because I didn't have this issue before but the EA like shine is really irritating me you can see it looks like really really glossy and not in like a good way and I know that's what the EA eyes have so can you guys let me know um, if there's a mod for that because I've completely forgotten because the custom as you guys can tell the custom colors don't have that issue only the EA colors now for the skin details and oh there's just hardly any in here it's so strange because I'm so used to having all my skin details but yeah we're not gonna go through all of these I did get a skin overlay uh, by Twisted Cat which came with the freckles so you know if I ever need a skin overlay I'm not sure if I'll go with this one it's not particularly my style I kind of like it though we'll see depends on the sim I'm creating <gasps> no my custom content teeth are gone I need to get those back my my teeth packs <laughs> it's like a running joke on the channel where I have like more custom content teeth than I do like custom content hair which was actually true for a certain amount of time I got quite a lot of hairs okay I didn't <laughs> I went a little bit overboard with the hairs, but I don't regret any of them. They all look really lovely and really, really nice. What did I do for makeup? I know I didn't get a lot of makeup. Yeah, I, I did download a bit of Ocean Sims CC makeup collab because I use these all the time. So I wanted to get this makeup set back because it's honestly essential. It's one of the essential things. So I did download that back, but here's some of the eyeliners I got. Now for the tops, I'm very excited for the clothing. I think it's my new favorite part actually. I know I said earlier it's the hair, but I think now it's the clothing. I did actually get some default underwear as well, which I'm so happy with because the, oh, the base game underwear all the like non CC underwear is so boring and I don't like how it looks one bit so I'm happy to have some default underwear just quickly flick through the clothing yeah I'm super duper happy with all the clothing that I got today I can't wait to create some sims with it it feels really fresh it feels really new before I forget I did download some quite a few shoes because I never used to download CC shoes and I always complain that my sims wear the same shoes so I was like you know what this time around we're gonna get some CC shoes so yeah I got some really love lovely ones from Dallas girl I absolutely adore her sims for custom content shoes there are a couple things I do want to read download like I want to get back my spring cas background because I just love having the mirror and I love having it be in a room I think I just prefer that for creating my sims so I'm going to re-download that I also forgot to re-download my eye catch lights by Pixis because I've been using these eye catch lights for years and once again my sims just don't feel like my sims without them but I'm so excited to have this new class of content as I did say a lot of it I have you know re-downloaded when it comes to more of the like essential things but I'm also excited to you know have kind of gotten gotten rid of a couple of my essentials so I 
can kind of start new, you know, my sims are gonna look relatively similar how they did before, but now I've got some new custom content in my game, I'm gonna, you know, kind of update my sim and create sim style a bit because it'd be a bit odd if I kind of you know begin afresh with the sims 4 and don't tweak how my sims look so I think with this custom content I'll be able to make you know some more unique or different sims to how I made before but I'm quite happy with my sim style and because I haven't created a sim for like three months it probably would have just naturally changed anyway so yeah I can't wait to get some creator sims in. Thank you for joining me on this CC shop today I found so many good pieces as I did say if you do want to download any of the custom content it is all reblogged on my CC Finds Tumblr, which is linked in the description box down below. I am also updating my resources list, so if you want to get all my essential custom content and mods, it, they are all linked in my resource list, which is also linked in the description box down below. Thank you for joining me today. It's been so fun to custom content shop together and just have a little chat with you guys. I feel so inspired now. Now I've gotten all this new stuff in my game to create the sim for my new Let's Play for my new Legacy, which we talked a little bit about earlier. I'm just feeling really, really excited for it, and I can't wait for you guys to join me so as I always say I hope you're taking care of yourself today and doing something that you love even if it's only for a minute or two I'm sending you lots of hugs hot chocolate tea coffee whichever you prefer and I hope you have a very very wonderful rest of your day